So far, our base has been a single factor. 3 to the fifth, a to the fourth. But what if our base is a product or a power? 3 to the fifth to the third, or a times b to the fifth. To evaluate these, we have to do exactly the same thing we've been doing. So let's simplify these expressions. Since to the third means to multiply three factors of we can rewrite three to the fifth to the third as a product of three factors of three to the fifth. There are five plus five plus five, 15 factors of three. So we can write a simplified expression. Likewise, since we're squaring x to the fifth, we multiply two copies of x to the fifth. And there are five plus five, ten factors of x. So in general, a to the nth to the nth, well, that's the product of n factors of a to the m. And that means our factor a appears m plus m n times. But remember, multiplication is a simplified form of repeated addition. p times q is the sum of p q's. And so a actually appears n m times. And while we could leave it in this form, we sometimes reverse the order because multiplication is commutative. P Q is the same as Q times P. So our exponent is M times N. So remember, uh, never mind, you're going to memorize the rule anyway. For A, M, and N real numbers, A to the power M to the power N is A to the product. So again, we don't actually need the rules to simplify exponential expressions, and it's helpful to remember what they actually represent. So a to the fifth to the eighth is the product of eight factors of a to the fifth. And so we can count the number of factors of a. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 factors of a. Again, if we wanted to use our formula, a to the fifth to the eighth is a to the five times eight, a to the fortieth. This rule still holds even if we have negative exponents. So x to the third to the negative fifth, well, that's x to the three times negative five, x to the negative fifteenth, And we should try to avoid using negative exponents in a final answer. So remember, a to the power negative n is the same thing as 1 over a to the nth. So we can rewrite this x to the negative 15th. About 5x to the third. Again, we have three factors of 5x. So that's 5x times 5x times 5x. And we have three factors of 5 and three factors of x. And if a and b are whole numbers, generally we compute a to the b, or don't, it doesn't matter. We could leave our answer as 5 to the third x to the third, or compute 5 to the third 125 x to the third. So again, here's another rule not to memorize. In general, the product a, b to the nth, well, that is the product of n factors of a, b. And so we have n a's and n b's. And so that's a to the n, b to the n. And this leads to another rule you shouldn't memorize. For real numbers a, b, and n, the nth power of the product a, b is the nth power of a times 
the nth power of b. Here it's vitally important to pay attention to where the parentheses are, so if you want to simplify 5x to the third and compare that to 5x to the third. So again, ignoring our rule, 5x to the third is the product of three factors of 5x, which will be If we invoke our rule, 5x to the third is 5 to the third times x to the third. And again, we can compute this 5 to the third if we wanted to. And importantly, note that 5x to the third is not 5x to the third. How about a quotient? How about 5 over x to the third? So again, by the definition of exponents, 5 over x to the third is the product of three factors of 5 over x. So this is the product of fractions. So remember, when multiplying fractions, our new numerator will be the product of all the numerators, and our new denominator will be the product of all the denominators. And we can rewrite this in exponential notation. There's three factors of 5 in the numerator, and three factors of x in the denominator. And this suggests a general rule for quotients. a over b to the nth is the product of n factors of a over b. And in our numerator, there's n factors of a, and our denominator has n factors of b. And so for a, b, and n real numbers with the denominator not equal to zero, a, b, to the n is a to the n over b to the n. So if I want to find 3 over x to the fifth, again, we can avoid the rule and write out 5 factors of 3 over x, and that's 5 factors of 3 in the numerator and 5 factors of x in the denominator. And we can just use our rule and find that this is 3 to the fifth over x to the fifth.